Hey everybody, it's Miss Debbie from It's Art Time. I just wanted to make sure that we're on here. Okay, it looks like you can see everything. It's um, it's kind of difficult when Mr. Steve isn't here helping me. He's at work today, but we are going to paint a butterfly face mask, just like the one that I hand painted the other night. I did a sunflower um, face mask and I love this. I want to wear this to Dollywood when I go to the Dream More Resort um, with a bunch of female artists I haven't met. I'm so excited. I'm, I made friends with everybody. Mm. I believe in, well it was Mother's Day is when I started. Okay, so here's my mask. It's just a plain, it's kind of t-shirt material so it's not really that um, easy to paint on, um, but I love it. It's soft and easy to breathe. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the side here of this plate just because of the way the nose and the um, the chin mark, or the chin is sewn here. So it gives me kind of a flat place. So if you're doing this, um, I would suggest putting it on a plate or a bowl just so you can make a flat surface. Um, my inspiration is um, my journal. I love this butterfly on the back. It's just an inspiration. Um, I won't be copying it, but I'm sure gonna I'm sure going to try and do something cute. I'm, I know I have to leave this part open. So I'm still kind of wondering if I should do like the body hair and do the sides of the wings. Or if I should do a whole butterfly. I, and I should probably decide quickly. But let me just jump up and see if, if you guys are on screen. Hmm, maybe I should scoot it over just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so I freehand everything. I do have tracers and stuff when we're doing paintings, but for this type of art, you know, kind of a crafty art, I just kind of freehand everything. I'm starting with white because the paint just soaks in. So I think this would be a cute little butterfly body. I don't want to make it too big because the wings are going to be too short. Look at that. Well, Hmm. let's try and see what we can do to fix it. So there's the top part of the butterfly. I think what we can do is we can make this the bottom part and then extend the body this way. Cute, see, easy fix. So I love that, have its little Head go that way, little body this way. Here we go. I hope you enjoy these um, live videos making pretties. It has been kind of a go, go, go week. And so now I have today and tomorrow to pack for my trip. And I wanted to paint some things before I went. So let's see, should I put, let's put the other part of the wing, let's make that right there. And we don't have to attach it because I would like it to be the darker shading. So, you guys are designing this as I go right along with me. We had our Grateful Pumpkin painting party the other night, and it was so fun. I just had a blast. I forget that I'm like the teacher, because I just love all the ladies that came. We just had some good time of being together and enjoying our paintings. Everybody did fantastic. I don't know if you saw the pictures, but... When I say fantastic, I mean fantastic. Everybody's paintings turned out beautifully. And when I get, I get back Saturday, and then Sunday I'll be doing two live events. We're doing Simply Blessed. Oh my goodness. So before I go, I'm gonna set out and take pictures of what's on the supply list. I made our private group page today. 
So that's good. I gotta get you guys, everybody that's already paid, I've gotta get you in there and invited. Um, which is really cool. I definitely want to add rhinestones to this. I've got some pretty colors going on. Um, I don't know if I'll use it all, but I've got white, of course, to um, actually sketch it on there. I've got a really pretty, like a bubblegum pink, dark pink, and this really pretty um, purple pearl, teal pearl, and a really pretty uh, shimmery pink, and then a really blingy pink. And whatever I do here, I want to use the same colors on another Levi jacket. So I'll probably be on a couple of times today. I'm also, I also brought home another Christmas tree so I can make, paint a candy corn Halloween Christmas tree for my sister. So, and then of course I'll be doing another one because I've got to make one for my other sister. I just have to find out, my sister in Washington, what kind she wants. Um, but this is for my sister in Pennsylvania. So let's see. How should I do this? Maybe just kind of put some little solid sections. I'm definitely going to add some rhinestones to this one. That looks pretty, right? You guys are my design team. And of course, Mr. Steve's not here, so I won't be able to read your comments till the end. I am like blind as a bat. So even <laughs> when I put my tablet on there, I can't read a thing. I told Mr. Steve I need a um I need a teleprompter. <laughs> Hilarious. I think this might give me some little spots to really make some cute designs. Oh, I like that. Do you guys like that? I'm really piling the white on there, but the, the problem is, is if I don't do too thin of coats, oh, watch this. Here's my secret to perfect circles. You just dip it in the white with the wrong end. And then let's just put them on there. There we go. And then we find out they're not that perfect on t-shirt material. That's okay. Let's just make them a different shape. Okay. Now I love the way the sunflower is the same on both sides. So let's see if we can repeat this. I just don't want that guy getting wet. Let's see. I think I can do that straight across. If I can't, We'll do a different butterfly, but we'll try. So zip this on over here. Whoops, my paintbrush touched it anyway. Let's do a little tail, a little fatter there in the body. Super cute. That one looks a little bigger. This kind of reminds me of a seahorse. I don't know if we're going to get the same, but that's okay. We'll get similar. Doesn't have to be perfect. That's the beauty of art. It'll still look like a couple of pretty butterflies dancing. And that's all that matters. So... If anybody's watching, where are y'all watching from? Oh, it looks like this would be going into her back a little bit higher than that. And then this would be coming from about right here. It's hard to tell. I've got my hand in my own work. Okay. So hopefully when I get back, I'll have some good marketing strategies to bring you some more beautiful art, to keep our studio nice and busy for the kids, which is my passion. I love our kids. We have been making some beautiful artwork coming out of there. I'm so proud of my students. 
I am so proud of my babies. They're so good. Even my high schoolers are my babies. Okay, so I'm gonna, that's kind of close enough. I'm gonna work on this one over here a little bit. Let me make sure I'm still, you guys can still see. Oh, good. Oh, there's my Cappy. Hi, Cappy. Thank you. Yes, I went and got my nails done for the trip. And see my little butterfly? You see it? I don't know if you can see it. So cute. You know, I'm going to the Dream More Resorts. Has any, have you ever been there? I'm excited. I love your painting. I love, love, loved it. We had so much fun the other night. I'm so glad you came. Okay, here we go. I'm getting off track. It's so strange because you do one going one direction and it's easier to reproduce it if it's going the same direction, but it's not. So, but you know me, I don't fight things. I just kind of go with the flow and just go with the paint and how it, how it, you know, works. It's, it's, um, verbal art. We paint on t-shirts a lot with the kids in the studio. It's just kind of nicer not to fight it. Just like work with the fabric the way it goes. This guy's got a bump in it though. So let's see if we can put a little teardrop right here without it. Nope. We can't. That's okay. Okay. So how are you today, Miss Kathy? What's cooking tonight? What have you got cooking in that yummy kitchen of yours? I love your cooking videos. I always say that, huh? Let's see. I have been running around everywhere today trying to find a specific something. And everywhere I went that has it is closed on Mondays. But of course, I fly out tomorrow, so that's the way that works. That's okay. What's meant to be will be. Okay, so now it looks like there's a big round one. I'll put a big round one here. And then, oh, I think I used the wrong end of my paintbrush for these. Whoops. Yes, Kathy, I tried to find the white that you always get. And I can never find it. That real pretty milky white that you always get on your nails. I love it. But I only, it either has pure white like this or the see-through. And I don't like the see-through. I don't mind a little bit transparent, but uh, not a lot. I like, but I do like the white. So pretty. My toes are burgundy for the fall. There, what do you think? This one definitely needs to come up higher. I'm eating, I'm eating Sophia's Takis. So, oh my goodness. Makes me want to cough with that hot chili powder. Miss Sophia and her Takis. Does that help? For you know, that wing will be way too big. Let's see. Mm, close enough. There we go. Now for the decisions. Hmm. I want a really pretty pink. Maybe we can start with this bubblegum pink. Whoops. Oh yeah, I like that. I'll 
leave a space so I can blend the darker pink with it. Oh yeah, I like that. Very feminine. I forgot to put some black on my palette for mistakes. White paint is your eraser for your canvas. But in this case, with a black background, black would be your friend. Definitely. Okay, I'm going to try some dark pink on the bottom. Oh, yeah. My BFF loves butterflies. I think I'm going to have her model this one for me. She's so beautiful. I think she'll look pretty with this. Do you like this so far? Let's see. You know the way you imagine something and the way it comes out is rarely the same. I really want a lot of pink on my Levi jacket, but I really want to introduce some other colors on here too. Let's see. Ooh, how about that shimmery purple? Oh, I love it. Shimmery purple. And it is shimmery too. I love that. Here, maybe we'll do. The problem is, is it's not drying very well. Oh, I love it. I love it. Kathy, what color do you think I should make her body? Oh, I know. First, I'm going to do the shimmery teal. Oh my goodness, I love that. It doesn't look that crisp, the edges, but that's okay. It doesn't have to. By the time you're done, all of that can be touched up with the black, like an eraser. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. I think I'm going to take this shimmery goldish pink and kind of put it over the top. So that's how we light things over the top. Oh my goodness, I love that. Let's see how it looks over the dark pink. I'm just adding a little of that pink shimmer over the top of the colors. If I don't like it, that's okay. I can just paint over it. But it kind of blends the light into the dark and the dark into the light. What color do you think I should make the butterfly's body? I'm kind of liking the turquoise blue. I wonder what I would get if I mixed a little of that with a little of that. Oh gosh, that's so scrumptious. Well, wow, that's pretty. Maybe. This one look good on these two. Oh wow, look at that. That's like a dark shimmery blue. All right, so. I'm going to put the dark shimmery blue that I just made on the on these two. It's not wanting to mix very well. And then I think I want to make the butterfly's body this pretty shimmery blue. What do you guys think? I'm literally winging this, so. 
And as long as I have these colors in the jacket, I think it'll match just fine. It doesn't have to be the exact butterfly. I am dying to paint that jacket though. That's pretty. Hmm. If I don't like it, I can change it again. Let me put some more of that pink. I'll put the white highlights in it when I'm done. So I'm just following the white, putting the pink on there because it's, it's fuzzy. It's a t-shirt material. I'm letting the black make its own lines. It may be a little too much black, but we'll see. When I put the um, this over it, you won't see it as, as thick. Okay, there's one side that's going to be our map for this side. And let's just paint and repeat. Can you guys see that? Oh, good. Yes. Thank you, Angel. Oh, my goodness. I loved your demo today. It was so cute. I, I want to... um. I want to definitely be a part of that auction because that scarecrow was adorable. You are such a good teacher. I loved it. It was so fun to watch your um, demo. And what a great cause, right? Okay, let's see. I'm not... This is only the second mask I've ever painted, so... <laughs> I'm definitely not a pro at this, but it's fun and it's relaxing. And if we've got to wear them, like Kathy says, you may as well make it fabulous, right? So there, I think that's where I had the, the light. And I'll put the dark in here. The dark pink at the bottom. This is so cute. If I end up putting bling on this later, I'll hop back on and just show you. My friend Devin got me a, a little tool that puts bling on. I think it would be so cute with all the shimmer going on. Okay, let's see. I'm still seeing a lot of that black poke through. It'll probably get lighter as it dries, but that's okay. It'll also make a nice barrier. That's why we never want to paint in the middle, because you want to be able to breathe. Breathing's nice. <laughs> I'm putting the same purple that I put in here and I'm going to just follow the same pattern even though it doesn't look identical it will still look cohesive you know which is what you want my friend Rebecca is going to be making masks for me to paint I'm so excited And she's going to do more cottony ones. They're easier to paint. Okay, let's see. So what did we do next? Ooh, the real pretty turquoise. The shimmery turquoise. I love this color, don't you? Yellow's my favorite color, but I love scrumptious turquoises. Oh my goodness. So pretty. I'm a water girl, so I love them. And the mint greens. I just love color. So cute. I should make some really cute like diamond D ones for events. Have a um mask painting party when when I get back with our homeschool class. They would love that. I think Ryan and Evan have been telling me, Miss Debbie, let's paint masks.
Definitely have to get permission for that. Okay, there's the dark blue that we made. I'm not sure I'm liking that shimmery pink. Oh yeah, I guess I do. You can see the gold in it. Okay, we're almost there. So quiet in here. My little dog is asleep. All right, cute. I wonder if without the white, you'd be able to see color. Oh, let me put the shimmer on there first. Do we have shimmer on? Oh no, and I had dark pink on that side too. Okay, that shows more of the 3D effect if you have the darker pink here. What's everybody up to this evening? It's getting close to dinner time. Okay, let's see. Shimmer. I think we're gonna have tacos tonight. Taco night, it's just easy. Yummy and good. Okay, let's see. I think this will leave enough spots to put little tiny bling on there, little tiny diamonds. This will be a good base for it. That almost looks like a little paw, doesn't it? Okay. Let's see. I'm going to try and just see if the blue will work for little antennas. Oh. I've got Takis powder in my throat. Okay, let's see. Okay, you're not going to be able to see it. So let's use our white. earlier Takis and the chili powder is stuck in my throat. It's not good. They're so good, but oh my goodness. Not good when it goes down the wrong pipe. How are those cute little, little antennas? Adorable, right? Okay, I'm going to let this set for just a second. I'm going to go get black for the two little dots for the eyes. And then I want to put the sparkles on. There we go. Okay. I think we only need to put one tiny dot. That's so cute. One tiny dot here. And then use the black. See how that just cleans up those little fuzzy edges from just the fabric itself. It kind of gives it a little fuzzy edge. You can just clean it up with the black. So 
That looks good. Now let's do this side. I'm going to turn it over. It's easier to pull your strokes than it is to push your brush. There we go. When I was doing the white, it kind of, it catches on all the little fuzzies of the t-shirt. This just cleans it right up. You won't see it. Like there won't be a thick black line around it or anything. I just think these are so fun. This is only my second one, but I love it. Let's clean up this little line. This little body, it kind of reminds me of like a little seahorse. It'd be cute to do beach ones for the island. Okay, let's see. There we go. Wouldn't that be cute to put little rhinestones all the way around here on both sides? Or you could even put a little rhinestone body if you wanted. But I think, is this dry enough? I think I'm going to try, maybe use this, oh, nope, not that brush, this brush, same brush, and add a little, it looks like this has been sitting here for a minute, add a little bling. Oh yeah, look at how pretty that is. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the purple and in the black as well, or the blue. Definitely start with the pink. Can you guys see the bling or no? So pretty. Oops, I want the bling to go over to the black. See, now you can't see the, um, the black doesn't look so thick or harsh anymore once you have the sparkle on. Look at her beautiful wings. This is going to be fun to wear. I think I finally got the Takis out of my throat. My goodness. I shouldn't be eating kids' snacks anyway. <laughs> it's like chili powder. Look at that. Can you guys see that? See that? See how this one's got a little shimmer on it, but look at it when you put the bling. I love it. I don't know if I should put like this sparkle. Oh, dragonfly glaze. Let's try that on the body. I mean, why not? Since we're, oh, it's not open. I always like poke it and then peel it up. This is what you do when you have arthritis. You just peel it. There we go. This is kind of, it's like glue. It's a little bit white. And then when you use it, it dries clear. See how it looks white? And then when you use it, all that beautiful iridescence comes up. I think I'm gonna put that on her little body. Not a lot. Just enough that she matches her wings. Yes, it's definitely a her. Oh, I love it. Okay, now the other side. You see, the you guys, this is not hard at all. Like, this isn't, um, this, this is something that you guys could do so easily. If you wanted to, you could even go to, like, clip art or, you know, butterfly silhouettes and, Cut one out and trace it if you were 
you know, feeling not, not confident enough to just, you know, freehand it. That's totally understandable. Oh, I got sparkle in the black. See? There's no mistakes in art. But you could totally do this. You could do a pretty rose. And they don't have to be identical on both sides. I love something hand painted to look hand painted instead of, you know, perfect like a sticker. This is going to be fun to wear. So, you guys, when I'm done with this, I'm going to try and prepare my little Levi jacket. It's a it's a shorty Levi jacket, so I got to figure out where exactly in the back I'm going to put my butterfly because there's kind of two spaces that I can do it. So I might do a big one on the back and maybe a couple on the yoke. But I just want to have fun with it. I mean, why not? What do you guys think? Oh, I've got to put my little shimmer on the little body. Oh my gosh, that shimmer is so pretty. It probably just looks like white on camera, but it's actually an iridescence. So we'll go ahead and put that on. And then maybe when my jacket is dry, I can show you this afterwards. And then, oh my gosh, that's so cute. Do you think his little antenna should be blue? I kind of do, because they're kind of just standing out there. Let's make them blue. So now that the white's on there, you'll be able to see the blue. Oh, there we go. That looks better blue, right, than white. Let's get the other side. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on how to paint butterflies on a mask. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So there's the left side. Here's the right side. Do you like that? Yeah, I think, yeah. That would be the left, my right, and then the left side, the right side. So pretty. It doesn't, you know, it's just enough that it's kind of like jewelry on your mask. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'm going to go ahead and end this live and get ready to paint my Levi jacket. Okay, love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.